What's up guys, in this video I'm going to show you how to use R bass in a multiband compressor to add a tight bass to something that doesn't have it. So basically what we're going to do is we're going to take this, which lacks a bit of the low end, and we are going to accentuate it with R bass, and then use some sort of upwards compression and experiment and fly by the seat of our pants or dresses. So yeah, let's uh, give the multiband compressor something to work with. We're going to be using our base to do this. Turn it on and I'm going to actually turn it back off. I'm going to analyze whereabouts I want to accentuate the base. So I'm going to solo this and I'm going to hover over this and use my mouse wheel to change it to a steeper slope. So effectively, as you can see, this is a low pass filter. And uh, I'm gonna be using this to work with adding some bass. So I'm looking at around the center point is around 60 Hertz, which is fine by me. It's a good kind of starting point to zero in on, right? And we can see, or feel you might not be able to hear it please use headphones you will be able to hear a difference you'll be able, you'll be able to hear added uh, bass on the bottom here just by kind of selecting the frequency and initial or starting the plugin and right now it's compressing it and we can uh, we have our bass now so I'll do before and or after and before. So with it off, we don't have the bass. With it on, we do. Okay, so basically our bass's job is to give us bass through magic and harmonics and math to feed into our compressor. So we have a bass to work with. So I'm going to use the Pro MB by FabFilter to kind of even out the upper parts, which it kind of does automatically. I'm not really going to dial these in. This is just for example. And now I'm going to use something called expand. So this is like an upwards compression. So it'll make the base kind of tighter, not so muddy. Um, so what I'm doing is, oops, what, what didn't, oh, I, expanded the wrong thing. It's a common problem, I know. Right, so instead of instead of um, the sound triggering the compressor to lower the volume, the sound will trigger it to upper the volume to increase the volume, or, or something like that. And uh, standard con controls still apply. It's a little confusing, but you'll be able to hear it. So I'm going to bring the threshold down, and you'll notice that the volume will go up as it increases the threshold. Right? Hear that? Feel that? Right? So we have this low end that's just going to cut through, and uh, you'll be able to feel it. Because without it, it'll just be like, like a the entire time because of the, um, the nature of the congas that are playing. But with this, they will kind of it kind of acts as a gate like in my previous video and uh, yeah this is what it sounds like right and uh, that was quick and dirty um, obviously I would um, dial it in more to fit with a kick or other kind of uh, percussion and um, this is kind of a way to add bass to rhythms uh, like congas that don't necessarily have a whole lot of low end. Um, and this is kind of, the applications are vast, but um, I do this a lot in uh, my techno productions. And uh, yeah. And uh, this is obviously a little exaggerated. I'd want to EQ it a bit. Give a bit more low end, clean up that muddiness around here. 
So with a kick, dun, 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 you know, you get it. You get the idea. Um, anyway, hope you learned stuff. Take care. I like you guys. And have a good one.